Um, good morning. Uh, we had um, a very good um, breakfast meeting with the um, Foreign Minister of uh, Saudi Arabia, and um, Romania has welcomed the um, um, uh, openness of the Kingdom to um, strengthen the relationship and the dialogue with the European Union. I have also welcomed the um, progress uh, which was uh, made on social reforms, especially um, on a matter which is very important for, uh, for the EU and for Romania as well, which is um, women um, empowerment and um, gender balance. Um, there are some, uh, some evolutions in the social reform in, in Saudi Arabia. But we have discussed a lot on uh, the Middle East uh, uh, evolutions and Middle East peace process. And uh, I have uh, presented the conclusions um, from uh, my visit uh, in September to both Israel and Palestine and uh, my assessment that uh, it is very important that uh, the normalization agreements um, concluded between Israel and, um, and, Pal and um, uh, other Arab states um, are creating an environment of confidence building in the region. And they are um, uh, creating uh, the uh, environment uh, for a possible resumption of the um, substantive uh, peace negotiations between the Israel and uh, uh, Palestine um, on the substance on the peace process. Uh, of course, uh, even if the um, uh, parties are not yet ready to start these negotiations for various reasons, both internal and uh, well, external, it is, I think, important, and I have made this point during the meeting, um, that uh, all actors, including EU and perhaps also uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, encourage the parties to start a dialogue on confidence-building measures on uh, issues which are not necessarily related to the peace process but which might pave the way for um, the resumption of the discussion when the conditions will be ripe. Um, so uh, I have um, uh, welcomed this dialogue with the, um, with the Kingdom of, Sa of Saudi Arabia and uh, expressed hope that we will continue to work together in order to find solutions to the uh, regional challenges. Today we will have a very busy agenda. We will discuss many important issues uh, on Nagorno-Karabakh. I will express the view of Romania that uh, the situation is very worrisome, taking into account the intensity of um, the conflict, uh, which was never seen uh, before. Um, and uh, I will make a very strong appeal to the parties, which is in fact a, is a reiteration of our strong appeal to the parties to um, well, resume the dialogue um, and to start uh, discussions on, um, on peace um, and uh, uh, follow strictly uh, the ceasefire which was uh, recently agreed upon uh, and already uh, broken. And I will uh, also express uh, the encouragement um, for the High Representative to continue to engage uh, closely with both um, the uh, Azeris and the Armenians in order to find um, a good solution um, and to um, ask them to um, well, resume discussions under the um, uh, framework of the um, OSCE uh, Minsk Group um, uh, co-chairs mediation uh, effort. Uh, on Belarus, um, uh, we welcome uh, the recent uh, entry into force of uh, sanctions, which we very much uh, supported, but it is not enough. Uh, um, we see an intensification of the repression of the regime upon uh, the protesters, including uh, during this uh, weekend. Uh, we uh, see uh, uh, no intention, the slightest intention, uh, for the regime to uh, start a dialogue with the opposition. Dialogue within a prison cell, as happened two years ago uh, in Minsk, is not a proper dialogue with the opposition. So um, we support uh, more sanctions. We have joined... Um, uh, a group of uh, other member states asking for uh, more persons listed, including Mr. Lukashenko. Romania has asked already at the, at the end of uh, August um, for in the inclusion of uh, Mr. Lukashenko on the list of, uh, of uh, sanctioned uh, people. And um, if the situation gets even worse, uh, we need to consider more sanctions, perhaps, perhaps economic sanctions targeting the resources of uh, Mr. Lukashenko. In sign of solidarity, Romania decided on Friday to withdraw um, uh, to, um, uh, for consultations, to recall for consultations our ambassador to Minsk. Uh, this decision uh, has um, um, become effective as of today, so today our ambassador is traveling from Belarus to um, Romania. Uh, we will discuss also about the uh, Belgrade-Pristina dialogue. Uh, this is a very important topic. Romania has uh, supported the inclusion of this topic on the agenda of, of today's meeting because we consider that we need to give a, a, a more uh, profile to this topic on the EU uh, agenda. I'm in close contact with um, Special Representative uh, Lajczak and we very much support the efforts of, um, of uh, Mr. Lajczak to mediate between the parties in order to reach a comprehensive legal package um, uh, of um, agreements uh, between Belgrade and, and Pristina, which will very much um, benefit the stability and security of the whole region and of Europe um, as a whole. 
We will, of course, uh, discuss today um, about uh, Russia. Russia uh, is on our agenda as a continuation of uh, the discussions we had uh, at the end of August in Gimnich in uh, Berlin. But we will also discuss uh, Russia in the light of um, uh, the recent uh, developments regarding Mr. Navalny's poisoning. And um, as you perhaps remember, um, even uh, before the uh, former um, um, uh, Foreign Affairs Council uh, um, meeting uh, on the 21st of September, Romania, together with Poland, with Denmark and the Baltic states, have asked for uh, sanctions if Russia does not conduct a proper, um, impartial, uh, transparent, comprehensive investigation on the poisoning and if Russia does not cooperate with OPCW. And now after uh, we, we have seen that nothing of this happened, um, uh, and after OPCW reconfirmed the fact that the poisoning uh, took place with uh, this nerve agent Novichok, we think that it is uh, 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 the right time for sanctions to be swiftly adopted, and we will support that during today, uh, today's meeting. And I'm glad that um, uh, other member states uh, like France and Germany uh, joined this call and now we are, uh, I think, um, um, uh, well, a, a lot of uh, member states supporting for the adoption of, uh, of sanctions against Russia. Last but not least, we will discuss today about multilateralism and how to support multilateralism in order to be more efficient. In our view, in a very, um, well, condensed uh, way to say it, well, um, efficient multilateralism means also um, respect for human um, uh, rights, for international law, for democratic values, and it depends a lot on the cooperation with like-minded actors and states. And this means also uh, a reinforcement of the transatlantic link. Cooperation with the United States, despite the um, differences that are between us, um, uh, is very important. We have to overcome these differences because what unites us is even more important than what separates us for the time being. We are a unique community of values and uh, security, and we need to preserve and, and enforce it. Thank you.